about a dozen persons living with disabilities from Kameno Ward in Thika West Subcounty on Friday benefited from wheelchairs, business startup merchandise and stock from Winworld Foundation working in partnership with Partners for Care. In an event held at PCEA Makongeni Church, the beneficiaries could not hide their joy saying that these donations would ease their mobility and engagement in other social activities as well as offer them more independence and improved quality of life. Oh, thank you because I have been trained for this. Okay, I take this opportunity to say thank you for this opportunity that God has given unto us. The person who has remembered people with disability, him or her, God should reward her or him in everything that she may re be requiring. Yeah. God, who has given him this chance to remember us, yeah. may you remember her or him yeah. in any situation that he or she will be. Remember her in a mighty way. Yeah. Okay, my name, my name is Caroline Johega Shogo. From Kega, from Keganjo, I do. I'm a business ready. I do sell sundas, biscuits, and 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 bananas. And I would I would request those people who has remembered us to continue with the same spirit, because there are some children who are hidden at home. But we take this opportunity for our parents. Kwa kujitolea kwa kututoa kwa nyumba Kwa mana ispakuwa ni mamangu na babangu kunitoa kwa nyumba Humu wanya nimepata Na pia ningependa kutetea wale mavu wenzangu niambie wazazi ambao Wakona watoto ama pia wa ukiwa mzazi na ukona ule mavu Tafadhali dugu yangu wa madada yangu Usi, Usitharao mtu kwa sababu yaya ni mule mavu Kwa mana kama ningepu uzu wa najipu uze Singeza kujitokeza na kujikubali. Gali hiri nimepata. Ninashukuru mungu. Kwa mana kuna wale mavu wengi. Ambao walikuwa wanataka kupata huu mwanya. Lakini hawa kupata. Lakini mimi nashukuru mungu. Kwa katikati ya wengi. Mungu wamenionekania. Nikawa moja hiri, hiri gari ritanisaidia. Kufanya biashara yangu. Mahali ambapo siku wanaweza kufika. Mamu sasa hameacha kuchoka kuwa ananibeba kwa mgongo. Kwa mana alikuwa ananibeba, ananipeleka kazini, ananibebea vitu, vitu. Alafu jioni ikifika venashara, anakuja, ananichukua. Kwa hivyo ningeomba mwenye ameguzwa tu na mungu. Siku ya leo, iwe siku, iwe siku yake ya kwanza na ya, ya kwanza kupata maku. Chanya kilikuwa kimepotea chake. Mungu walia binguni. Ambaya, ambaya anasikia kiliota wale mavu kama mimi. Na pia, wanya, na pia wanya wajui kuongea na ni wale mavu. Mungu wakumbuke huyu, huyu, huyu mama. Na kuwake kusikose kitu, kitu familia chakiaka itapata chakukura. Wala chakukunywa. Akibisha tu mrango. Mungu wanamkumbuka. Bwana wabariki. Ningeomba sana. Kama kuna... Kama viongozi watu kwa sababu najua kiongozi watu uhuru kenyata na naibu wake wanapenda kusikiza haki za wale mavu. Tafadhali ingioni vijitini ili mkuja mtu jengea bibada tuwacha kazi ya kuomba omba kwa mana mimi huisi uchungu sana. Wakati naona mle mavu kama mimi akizunguka kwa kikombe anawekewa pesa na hizo pesa hazita msaidia. Pia wale ambao wanapeana pesa za wale mavu mwaja kusema hati wale mavu si watu kwa mana tunazifuatilia mara nyingi tunazi, tunazikosa na wazazi wetu ambao wanataka kutusaidia bila hizo pesa hawawezi kutusaidia parents cited various challenges they went through as they raised children living with disabilities which included financial rejection as well as discrimination Manjina naitwa Bedi Shira. Ah nakaa makogeni KCST. Siku ya leo tumefurahia kuwa na na foundation ya Winwood Foundation wametusaidia na wheelchair ambazo zitasaidia wenye wanaweza kuzride wamepeana vitu ya kuanza kazi, ice cream box, sweets 
vitu kama hizo na watu wamefurahia sana kuona wale mavu wamekumbukwa na tuko na challenge zingine wenye tunalea watoto wako na ule mavu sasa zingine unapata lazima uende kazi una mtu wa kuachia mtoto na huna pesa ya kuwa kuajiri mtu wa kuangalizia mtoto juu changes ziko hai juu kienda kibarua unapata kama 500 or 400 na mwenye unataka kuachia mtoto anataka that 500 so that is a, a big challenge uko katika nyumba ya kukomboa uh, tenants wengine wanaona huyu mtoto ni kama hafai na kudharau saa zingine wanakutusi wakitumia huyo mtoto na huyu mtoto siwe uri apply upewe mtoto kama huyo it's a gift for, he or she is a gift from god the other thing kuna wazee kiona mtoto amekuwa na charge huwa wanatesa wa mama na saa zingine huwa wanawaacha Seme kama mtoto ni firstborn mzazi anaenda na anaenda kabisa. So hutakuwa na pengine na chance ya kupata mwingine. Ukipata mwingine naye anakuja na kuteza na kama sio kuteza kama mtoto amekuwa kuwa unaona hata wengine huwa wanalipiwa. Pia hata kukusaidia na kusaidia kimadharau. So unapata wamama wengi wako na watoto wako na charge wako peke yao na huwa wanapitia magumu juu matusi ni kitu ya kwanza psychological torture even the your families kuna wengine hata hawataki kuwasaidia na pia kuenda kasi na kuwa chade juu lazima ufungia mtoto kwa nyumba pia naye unastakiwa ati umefungia mtoto kwa nyumba uko na uh, unaenda kibarua au unaenda shughuli zako na ni lazima kama mtoto ni mkubwa huwezi vevana na yeye kila mahali unaenda so inakubidi sio kupenda kwako inakubidi uache mtoto kwa nyumba umtafutie jurazima akure akunywe na pia avae na pia una wengine so wanakuhitaji na wao uh, ndio waweze kuendelea kama ni shule lazima waende na unapata mama dia anafinyika sababu ye ako odhuru kwa nyumba akifanyia mtoto kazi na tuseme kama baba hana hiyo kazi mzuri vile pia unaona mnafinyika sababu kuna watoto wengine wanastahili kukura kusoma na everything else so baba anaona ka huyu mtoto ndiye mzigo juu mama hamsaidi uh, for that cash transfer huwa inasaidia wengine lakini wengine hawasaidi Ch challenges iko different so kama ni kulisha kuna wenye wanataka special diet kama ni hali ya kukaa kuna wenye wanataka devices kuwa kwa nyumba sasa hiyo nyumba ni dogo na unataka uweke kama ni hiyo hurutia yake vitu yake hizo zote na hiyo ni charge na pia watoto wengine wao huwa like psychologically tortured sababu wengine wanasema kwenu kuna mtoto mbaya kwenu kuna mtoto mbaya na huwa wanakuwa ro andres wao ukiwa mzazi uwatie u, mwana uambie huyu ni mtoto wetu na ni baraka tulipewa na Mungu huwa hata wao wako na that charge my name is uh, Mary Wanganga i work for partners for care it's an international ngo we based in kenya and also in the us uh, today we are very happy to be here making uh, 11 people mobile in a uh, kamen kamen ward in thika sub county kiambu county uh, invited by madam Yunis, that is honorable Yunis mwega uh, our main goal as Partners for Care is to make everybody mobile in Kenya in partnership with an NGO in uh, the US called Mobility Worldwide who are the suppliers and uh, the people that make uh, the mobility. So today we made 11 people mobile here in Thika and uh, we give glory to God and also to our donors. Thank you very much. Win World Foundation founder Eunice Mwega said that time was ripe for Thika to get a rehabilitation center that would take care of PWDs as well as persons suffering from alcoholism. She proposed that alcoholism be declared a national disaster as it was messing up so many families, especially in the Mount Kenya region. My name is Eunice Mwega. I'm a founder of Winworld Foundation here in Kamen World, Vika Sub County. And our mission is to empower our communities. That is our number one priority. And when we empower our communities, there is no way we can leave behind the people with special needs. And that's why we are here, to make sure our people with special needs 
our people who have other abilities are being empowered. Today we are very much grateful to God because he has enabled us to distribute more than 10 tricycle that will enable our people who have not been doing businesses to start doing businesses. We have very many children who are below 18 years, others are above 18 years, and the challenge we are facing mostly is a rehabilitation center. We need a rehabilitation center whereby we bring those people on board, physiotherapists and other activities to be going on. We want to complement what the national government and also the county government has been doing to people with disabilities. We know we have those boards, we have those departments that normally focus on such people. But we have those ones who can be able, who cannot be able to attend schools, probably because of their uh, challenges. And that's why we are saying having a rehabilitation center on board, it will bring them together so that we can have daily care whereby they will get those therapies and they will get other medical attentions. Sport activities will be held up there so that we can be able now to, to help our people. Without empowering all people on board, we are doing nothing. We need to bring all people on board, those who are in disabilities, our youth, our women, those uh, jobless people, all of them, we need to bring them on board so that we can have an empowered community. On issue of drug, on issue of drug abuse, and also alcoholic, that one has become a thorn in fresh, especially in most families. And we are calling upon our government, county government, national government, well-wishers to come on board and other stakeholders to come on board so that we can have rehabilitation centers. We help our people, we help our children, we help our youth so that they can be able to curb these uh, alcoholic menace so that we can have an empowered community. So having a rehabilitation center, that one, we need to have one. Actually, I would say alcoholic, especially in central province, and also in our nation, should be declared a national disaster.